Hello, it's here. It's happening. It's terrible. I'm here to talk today because apparently I'm doing a weekly thing on this now on why I'm doing Movember in a grander sense as opposed to the established for the moment response to an idle inquiry. Inquiry? Movember have four pillars of like advocacy, uh, men's health in general, prostate cancer, testicular cancer and mental health and suicide prevention. They all matter obviously but that last one is the one that speaks to me because my mental health was in the trash for years. Putting on weight as I came out of my teens did some damage but the real nail in the coffin was discovering that I was losing my hair at 23. I'd been doing regular cardio for months and was making measurable progress at the time but that realization was just devastating. I vividly remember looking in the mirror uh, with my phone camera angled behind me to give a rear view and in that moment giving up on ever being happy with my appearance ever again. That was in 2012 and I just kept getting bigger and bigger until late 2020 when my sedentary lifestyle really caught up with me. Now I want to acknowledge here that plenty of folks can and do live plenty healthy and happy lives in bigger bodies. I don't mean to deny their experiences or perspectives in any of this. That just absolutely isn't me. Being half of current me heavier than I am now was abysmal for me. So what happened in 2020? Suffice it to say, I had a huge not COVID health scare. I couldn't stand up straight. Going downstairs was a real struggle. I had trouble breathing. There was a point where I couldn't get out of bed without help. That period was a real testament to Lindsay's and my relationship. I'm pretty sure that was grammatically correct. My tongue really wanted to say Lindsay and I's, but that can't be it. Anyway, I relied on her massively to get where I am now and continue to rely on her to keep going. Being able to ask for help is so heckin' important. There did eventually come a turning point, but in the minutes leading up to it, I legitimately felt like I could die. No exaggeration, no hyperbole, I was very cognizant of my mortality in those moments. It took months to recover and during that period I had a bunch of medical conversations that highlighted how dreadful of a state my body was in. Once I was back on my feet I resolved to make changes to put off feeling like that again for as long as I could. Now I never set out with the goal of weight loss in mind. It genuinely was solely about improving my health but over the two years that came after that all the excess weight just fell away. I actually went underweight at one point and had to course correct again but I found a really nice balance now and I've been basically this shape for like two years. Here's the thing, none of that had to happen. I'm really happy with where I've wound up now but I lost a lot along the way. I retreated so far into myself that by the time I came back out I'd already lost the majority of my friends. All because I lost one particular genetic lottery and didn't have anything to keep me from spiralling further and further into unhappiness. That's why this aspect of Movember really resonates with me. So thanks to everyone who's donated so far. My parents, my gran, Helen, Jay, Angus and Rona, Ross H, Anthony, Heather, Stuart, Carolyn. I knew I was never going to blow anybody away with my fundraising after being so inactive on social media that the algorithms despise me. But raising £219 so far still feels pretty good. And maybe we can get some more. Look out for next week's update, anybody who cares. See ya.